Close your eyes and taste your breath. How does it feel right now? It's like being a cook. You taste the food to see if it's too salty, too sweet, too bland. If things are not just right, you can make adjustments. The breath is like food for the mind. If you know how to fix this food, it can give you a lot of pleasure, give a lot of well-being. If you don't fix it, the mind's going to go out looking for food outside. As the Buddha said, the mind has three kinds of food. There's the food of sensory contact, the food of awareness, and then there's the food of your intentions. A sensory contact, as we know, comes and goes, comes and goes. You can't guarantee that things are going to feel really good, or look good, or sound good all the time. The same with the things that you're aware of. There's no guarantee that they're going to be good. But the food of your intentions, that's something you can be in charge of. You can fix that food, make it really good. If the food of your intentions is good, then you don't need to go feeding on other things. In other words, so you can live in the world and things are going to be nice and you're happy. If things are not nice, you're going to be happy too. Because you've got your independent source of food inside. So it takes some time to look at your own breath. If it's too long, you can shorten it. If it's too short, you can make it longer. You can try in long, out short, in short, out long. Deep, shallow, heavy, light. See what tastes good right now. And you can be sure that when the breath tastes good, it's not only tasting good, it's also good for you. There are a lot of things in the world that taste good but are bad for you. As I say in Thai, it's delicious in the, in the mouth, but it's going to be difficult later on. But with the breath as a food, it's delicious all the way through, good for you all the way through. That's where you learn how to look after yourself. We have that chant, may I look after myself with ease. If you want it to be with ease, then you have to have things that are nearby. And the breath is as near as you can get to the mind. And here we will look at and John Fuang's analogy. says it's like the grass at the gate of the corral. The cows are in the corral, and the corral door opens. They go running out into the meadow to find food. And their food is, of course, grass. But there's grass right there, right at the little post next to the gate. And they run right past it. But we want to look at what we've got right nearby, the things that we already have. Because as the Buddha said, we can find true happiness based on things we already have. We don't have to go out searching for things outside. When the Buddha gained awakening, where did he gain it? He then gained it by looking at his own breath, looking inside. So everything we need to know is right here. Everything we need to develop is right here. It's just a question of developing it, making it good. It's like having food delivered to your door. It's already there at the door. It's simply a matter of your learning how to fix it, so it's going to be good to eat. When you know how to fix this food, then as you go through the world, you're not going to be feeding off of other people's moods, because we are so often dependent on other people being nice to us, saying nice things, doing nice things, thinking nice things about us. And only then will we be happy. But if that's our food, and people can take it away at any time. Or they can put poison in the food. They can think bad things, say bad things, do bad things to us. And if we're dependent on them for our happiness, we're in a bad we're in bad shape. But if we're dependent on our own on ourselves, if we look after ourselves with ease, then we can live in this world and not be poisoned by anything in the world. This way we can live in the world and not suffer. Because that's the Buddha's solution to the problem of suffering. It's not that we're going to straighten out the world and make the world the way we want it to be. We're going to straighten out our minds. Because the minds filter and process everything that comes in through the senses. And so if the filter is good, if the process is good, you can take anything and it can come in and it'll be fine. Filter out all the bad things. Keep only the good things, things that are of use. So make sure you're well fed inside, and then use your discernment to filter things coming in from outside. And that way you can stay happy and healthy and well, no matter where you are, no matter where you go. 
because you've got your independent source of food inside. 